Hey, what's going on everybody? Isaac here. Today, we are gonna be talking about the Al Mar Sear Operator 40. This, uh, I think, just debuted at SHOT Show 2024 from Al Mar Knives. Now, I say that sort of because it is an old design that's been around for quite a while from Al Mar Knives because they have been around since 1979 but they were the name was acquired by a new organization back in 2019 and this is the first that they've reintroduced this design now here you can see it on my belt of my uh, helicon tex sear pouch it's a nice small knife four inch blade that rides nice on the side uh, right up tight against you a thin profile which is great for you know what the name of the knife is for an operator in a sear situation which s-e-r-e -E, sear or seri i don't know how you say it you can say it however you want i say it sear survival evasion resistance and escape so a lot of different scenarios there for operators behind enemy lines so let's take a look at the knife all right so here we go we got the almar logo here it's not true kydex it's you know some sort of hard polymer but you know molded to the knife it does have a little bit of rattle but we can fix that but it doesn't come out Still holds the knife securely so something neat about this is that it has a carbide sharpener here in the top of the sheath however if you can see you would have to take off the tech lock attachment to use it so if you need to use this sharpener out in the field you need to make sure you've got a Phillips head screwdriver with you and you know tech lock type attachment but um, this is my favorite kind where it has this switch that you just push that button and slide it over this way to lock it in place push down it's not going anywhere slide it over push the button open it up you're good to go uh, it did come with a couple of slots slotted things in here to secure tighter to your belt but I don't like those uh, so I took it out or maybe it was a different sheath uh, that'll be in a different video <laughs> anyways let's take a look at the knife so this is it we've got black g10 handles you know see-through hollow pins here with the construction put my hand there so it focuses a bit Almar knives name logo here and the model number and china on this side this knife is made in china it is four inches of d2 steel now they do offer this in a three inch blade as well to make you know this design a little more a little more edc friendly if you will you know some some folks love like that that small pocket fixed blade or you know wear it on the belt you hardly know it's there three inch blade and it gets the job done for a lot of stuff the grip is comfortable the texture on the g10 is is smooth but you know the the contours of the design you know the ergonomics if you will make for a comfortable grip and you can bring your index finger sorry i'm out of frame here back here to this point and grip towards the bottom and use this jimping here for your thrusting tasks so one might say it's an excellent knife to grip like this and right into the neck of a bad dude so enough of this chit chat. Let's see if it can cut some stuff. 
did mention this was D2 steel. So it's a decently tough stuff and holds a good edge and doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So let's just do, you know, some little D lemon here. You know, you can do this. You know, if you have this knife on your person and you are in fact in a survival scenario, you can use this to, you know, cut up kindling from sticks for your fire that you will need to keep warm and cozy when you're out there. Now, one of the main uses of a survival knife is using it to make other tools. You know, one of the main downfalls of the knife as a weapon and hunting implement, I did a little too much here, is it has a limited reach. So what you can do is use your knife, carve a spear, so now my reach extends to, I know, obviously the stick isn't the greatest spear, but it was laying here, so we used it. My reach now extends from four inches to 30. So your knife can do that for you. And you know, this does come quite sharp. Whoop, don't wanna slice that hand off there. Comes quite sharp from the factory. They did a nice job. I do always like to see, I do always like to see how knives cut this rope. It's a three eight inch, yeah, not some sort of nylon rope, I guess. You can buy it at Walmart. And just saw that man, glides right through. No issues getting caught up. You know, it's, it's a sharp edge. Hardly any pressure there. So we cut rope with this knife, no problem. Also very useful in situations when you might need it. You know, Almar was a Green Beret, Special Forces. You know, he had training to be out in the field doing stuff to kill bad guys. So you can imagine he would want to design knives that could function in that capacity. And this is one of Al Mars' original designs from many, many years back. Okay, right here, we've got some nylon web, you know, like seat belt material. We're gonna cut some of this with the knife, see how it runs through. Butter, butter, oh, didn't get it all the way through that end. So, you're in some sort of vehicular accident, survival situation. You can depend on this knife, to cut through your belt, and get you out of there should your seat belt be jammed up all right here we're just going to do some some stabbing poking just to see how it feels it goes in pretty deep ah, because we got this awesome talon style point as almar knives calls it which you know some will just call it the Nice long false edge or swedge, but it's great for penetration. And this knife feels awesome in the reverse grip like this with your thumb on top of the flat butt end right here. Now it is you know, that thin tip. So, you know, I would not use this for major 
crying or anything like that. But we'll play around with it a little bit here. So this tree is relatively soft. At least in the first inch or so of this bark. Oh, no. Getting out of frame there a little bit. Oh. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a little fun to uh, stab and poke stuff with the Almar Sear operator 40. So let's wrap this video up and talk a little bit more about the knife. All right, so you like this knife, you want to know where to get one, there's going to be a link in the description to take you to the Almar Knives website where you can find, you know, a button at the bottom of this nice face that says buy now. It'll take you to one of their authorized dealers to pick this knife up. Uh, they also have a list of dealers on their website. Best price I've found on this is at Acme Tools, one of their authorized dealers. So you can look for this knife there. Now, I mentioned before this knife has been, been around a while. So why buy this new one when maybe I could get an old one for, you know, cheap because it's old. Well, the old ones are highly collectible and you're paying minimum double the price of this for an older one. So there's that. Now um, they did, some years back they did, uh, Almar Knives did a collaboration with Topps Knives to make this model. And I looked into getting one recently just to see what, what they go for. And I've had offers from $225 to $275 for the Topps made Almar Sear Operator knife. So this one, um, it, it plan is spending a hundred bucks on it. We'll say uh, 92 to $105 is what I've seen this knife go for. Now, some will say that the fit and finish was better on the older Japanese models. So there is that. There is some, some slight like not completely flush with the pins here. Move closer. I don't know if it'll really show in the video here, but fit and finish is not perfection, but it's a hundred percent usable knife. Um, it's just not the fine collector grade that you would have seen in the Seki Japan made versions of this knife. And that's okay because a lot of guys keep those knives as safe queens and never use them. So this is an Almar knife that you can go out and not be afraid to use because you didn't spend $400 on it. And you can have fun with it and enjoy classic Almar design and a pretty well-made knife with this D2 steel. So Almar Sear Operator 40, go find it and enjoy it. Take it easy until the next video.